Hi friends, my name is Vicki Maris and I am out here on a cold day on our Dawn of Promise farm where we have our llamas and Connemara ponies, Carrymore Madison and Kiriko. And I am this morning packaging up an order of llama roving. Joan, this is for you. Thank you for your order from our Etsy shop. I thought you might enjoy getting a little close-up look at the roving before I put it in the package and I wanted to share I, I like to do these little packaging uh, videos so that others can see what people are ordering from the shop and I have a couple of other things out here with me to show you I'm laughing at myself that I grabbed a headband that is not a llama headband it's sliding off my head right now my hair looks crazy um, but it's kind of cold out here so I need to well, I'm honestly not much of a knitter or a crocheter, but maybe I can get my mom to create something from our llama. Hi, Caroline. It's great to see you. Thanks for uh, being a part here. So what I'm holding is the llama roving that Joan ordered. This is going out to the state of Maine. I'm putting it out in the mail today. And Joan ordered uh, a package of eight of these bumps of roving. And I'm not sure yet what Joan is going to create, but this is what we use to spin yarn. If you work with a spinning wheel or work with a drop spindle, and there are lots of other things you can do with roving too. If you're a crafter, um, I've seen out on Instagram, I've seen a photo of a really beautiful crocheted blanket, or it looked kind of like the size of a throw rug you might have at the end of your living room couch. And it's made from roving like this. So it was not made from yarn that was, um, you would, you normally would make yarn from the roving. But this person had taken chunks of the roving and had uh, crocheted a blanket. It was really pretty. So you can kind of see the thickness of it there. So I'm not sure yet what Joan is going to make. So Joan, if you watch the broadcast, I would love for you to to type in the comments and tell me what you're planning to create from the roving. So let me show you some finished yarn. This beautiful yarn here is, so that's a nat, all of our yarn actually is natural color of the llama, so I haven't had any of it dyed. This yarn is from Silver Fortune. Let me check the bag here. It's from Silver Fortune and her two children, Rose and Primary Colors. So isn't that a really beautiful, it's kind of a, actually the color isn't showing all that well, as far as I can tell. Here, let me lay it across my jacket. <laughs> there you go. Sort of a pretty rusty color. Feels like a home shopping network or something right now. <laughs> uh, another one of the roving variations that we have. I call this one bells. I just, you know, it's kind of like naming nail polish or something. I, the names are a little bit random, but <laughs> this pretty one is, the brown in it is more of a rust color, and it comes from my llama Annabelle, which is why I came up with the name bells for this. And then the, uh, the creamy color in there is from our other llamas. Um, I imagine I have Betty and silver, for, uh, let's see, Betty and stunning, probably velvet, blended. They're all kind of creamy white colored llamas, so that they make that uh, cream that goes into that striated roving. And when we ask the mill to combine the fleeces later in the processing, you get that striated effect. I had to put it down because my fingers are frozen. <laughs> It's really cold out here. I had so hoped to do this with the llamas and they uh, had left the barn and are way out in the field. <laughs> so I just uh, came back to the back patio here. There you go. Another look at the uh, Bell's llama roving. So again, this is all natural colors of the llamas. We don't do any dyeing, but you can dye the uh, roving or you can dye the yarn. So there's lots of different ways that you can make creations from the llama roving, llama fleeces. This pretty yarn, I love this. I kind of like black or steel gray. 
and this yarn is made the darker colors from our llama heart song and from angus so they both have real dark fleeces i had those blended together at the mill and then the light colors are from the same llamas i just mentioned velvet and betty and uh, simply stunning and they create that uh, beautiful creamy color and ply yarn so one ply is the uh, darker color and the other ply is the creamy color and this knits up into a really interesting yarn or a garment so if you're making a scarf or mittens or something it'd be really cool this is a lighter colored yarn that's uh, a blend I think this one is my blend of Betty and petals that's what I call it out there on my Etsy shop I'll put it against my coat so you can see it better like my band-aid <laughs> my uh, sometimes I have trouble with my fingers getting little splits in them as I'm doing the farm chores in this really cold weather we had our polar vortex last week and oh my gosh were the chores cold I was grateful that my um, I work at a university and they closed for almost two days and it allowed me to stay here and take a good care of the animals in the in the farm you have to really look out for the infrastructure of the farm in that kind of weather so this is a package of some rabbit fluff look at that that's from my rabbit Isaac he's a French Angora so I also put this out on my Etsy shop which is heart song llamas in Etsy so you can see that the rabbits are also invading the uh, the llama roving and yarn shop <laughs> um, I don't have it out there very often I actually need to list that fleece from Isaac right there that's what I call raw fleece where I've just put it in a container right as I have plucked it from the rabbit the rabbits love that grooming they uh, they'll sit there for hours while you do that so I'm gonna wrap up here just because I am freezing so thank you for being here with me I hope you're somewhere warm today here one more time this is the roving that's going out to Joan in Maine and it is our Sierra Stripes roving and if you want to see any of these uh, different kinds of llama roving and yarn and I also have felted bats that you can make purses and hats and things from that's all out at heartsonglamas.etsy.com I will list the link in the comments below. Thank you very much for being a part of this very cold broadcast. My name is Vicki Maris, and during the week I uh, teach in executive education and digital marketing and leadership and also sell programs in those subject areas. And on the weekends here, love to hang out with the llamas and the ponies and train our animals and get some great exercise out here on the farm. I appreciate you being here with me. Take care.